2 Samuel chapter 22, Summary, BibleStudyMinistry.com, Chapter Summary Series. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Chapter 22 of 2 Samuel begins with a song David writes and sings to the Lord for delivering him from all of his enemies. He starts off by saying the Lord is his rock and fortress as well as his deliverer. As the chapter continues around verses four through eight, although David is speaking physically, the things he is saying cannot be attributed to a mere mortal man. This is when we realize this chapter is nearly identical to chapter 18 in the book of Psalm. Kind of made us wonder if we would have to do another chapter summary for chapter 18 of Psalm, you know, since they're identical. At any rate, as we realized the identicalness of Psalm, and we also thought about Jesus Christ as he told his disciples to read the book of Moses and Psalms concerning him, this chapter then sounded more like the Messiah speaking to God the Father, more so than David speaking about the Lord God. However, we're supposed to summarize here and not teach, but thought we'd point that out for ourselves. So getting back to the summary, David calls God and God hears David out of his temple. And David says, his cry entered God's ears. And when this happened, the earth shook and trembled. Not only this, the foundations of the heavens moved and shook because God was really upset. God was really upset because smoke even came out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth. He bowed the heavens and came down to the earth, covered in darkness and riding upon a cherub. All of this for David? Uh, well, God did all of this for David, or perhaps we should say for the author, because the individual, David or Jesus, kept the ways of the Lord God and kept his judgments, kept his statutes and did not depart from them. God gave him power to beat down the necks of his enemies and destroy them that hate him. This is interesting. God also delivered him from the striving of his people and kept him to be the head of the nations. This really didn't happen to David if you really go back and look at David's history, but once again, this is just a summary of the chapter. The last verse says, God has shown mercy to his anointed, the Christ, and to David, and to his seed forevermore. And this is a summary of 2 Samuel chapter 22. And we may add, it's also a very beautiful chapter to read. Thank you for joining us today. It's always a pleasure to have you. BibleStudyMinistry.com believes the Bible is one assimilated account leading to and pointing to Jesus the Messiah, his kingdom on the earth, and his royal family. We also believe that the Bible has a lot of profound and practical wisdom everyone can use in the journey of life and towards the kingdom of the Lord. Because of this, we blog, blog on different topics, study topics, chapter studies, current events, biblical interludes, and all things pertaining to scripture. We do all of this so we can share this story best we can with you. We appreciate and are grateful for all of your love and support in all ways possible, even something as simple as leaving a cool or encouraging comment on this video. Blessings to you. Also, you're welcome to join our newsletter where we go more in detail, more in depth, with some of our studies. And we also host question and answers and dissect lessons in the Bible we're pretty sure 90% of Christians simply are not aware of. We focus on subjects about Jesus Christ, history of the Bible, history of the world, prophecy, principle, true gospel, and we're sure you'll be edified and we'll be glad to have you join us. So sign up today if you get a chance. I'm Elder Izzy, BibleStudyMinistry.com, online Bible supplement source. So, what do you think of 2 Samuel chapter 22? Leave us a comment below. We'd like to hear your feedback. And don't forget, you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and our Instagram page. Coming soon. Blessings.